Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Now I Know. I am Dr. Sharon D'Souza from the Department of Cornea, Ocular Surface and Refractive Surgery. Today, we will be talking about a type of corneal transplant or keratoplasty, particularly the deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty or DALC. So when we talk about a corneal transplant, what exactly do we mean? The cornea is a transparent structure. It's like a glass piece. And what we see is the structures inside the eye through that transparent structure. Whenever there is a problem in the cornea which makes it go white or there's a mark on it or a scar on it, it is possible for us to change it by doing a corneal transplant using a donated eye from somebody who is deceased. So that is a corneal transplant or a keratoplasty. In a normal keratoplasty, we would change the entire cornea or all the layers of the cornea. But now, as time has passed and techniques have advanced, we do have an option of changing layers of the cornea, which is either the anterior part or the posterior part. So the deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty, as the name suggests, is an anterior change of the cornea. In this surgery, we change the anterior part of the cornea by removing whatever has affected the anterior part, whether it's a mark, an infection or a scar, and replacing it with a donated cornea of a similar thickness. So what is the advantage of doing a surgery like this? The biggest advantage of it is that by leaving behind a part of our own cornea, we reduce the risk of the graft being rejected by our body. We all know that any transplant requires an outside tissue to be implanted into the body. In the cornea, it is no different. Obviously, if there is more tissue, our body is more likely to recognize that tissue as an outside tissue and reject it. So by leaving behind a little bit of our own, we reduce that risk of rejection and this is probably the biggest advantage we have when we do a deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty. The other thing is that because we are leaving behind that innermost layer, the graft gets attached very well, the graft gets incorporated into the eye very well, the sutures can be removed much earlier, the need for steroids drops, which is normal in any type of keratoplasty which we do, uh, is reduced, thereby the complications related to the steroids also reduce. So as a surgery, it has really been a revolution for us and we do use it for a number of different conditions which affect the anterior part of the cornea. The most common being advanced keratoconus. Other conditions are scars, post infections or post an injury and some genetic conditions like dystrophies which affect the cornea. The post-operative care which we have to do is similar. There will be drops, there will be post-operative follow-up checkups which the patient needs to be doing even after the surgery. So consult your uh, ophthalmologist, understand if you are a good candidate for doing this surgery. But of course, the final decision for whether this surgery would be a good fit for you is your doctors and I'm sure they will take that decision in your best interest always. Thank you.